Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Perky. I'm bringing you a little uh, Moab here with the fad. It is nothing too special. Definitely not one of my most impressive gameplays, but um, it's definitely my first Moab with the FOV changer. In my live streams, I got a lot of questions asking why I don't use an FOV changer. And honestly, the whole reason was just that I didn't see the point. I'd, I've never used one before. I've never understood why people would use them. And uh, I got so many requests that I use it that I, I actually got it. So this is my first game with the, or one of my first games with the FOV changer. I'm using the fad. And uh, so that's kind of why I'm uploading the gameplay, even though it's not really the most impressive Moab I've ever had. But um, uh, also, I need to show off the new skin that I got from XYZ25 Games. Check out this green tiger camo here. It's got the uh, NKS clan logo in the side. Kind of hard to see because it's the same color green. But it's a pretty sick camo. It's possibly one of my favorite ones from him. And uh, definitely glad I got it. So showing off this gameplay because of those two reasons. And um, I'm a little late to the party here. But I kind of wanted to talk about Black Ops too. Uh, I know everybody saw the multiplayer release thing, uh, the little live stream, and um, I kind of wanted to give my thoughts on it. I know a lot of people, um, they were all super excited because the trailer gave the impression that there was going to be no more panic knifing. And, you know, as we're watching the game, the, the live stream, you can tell that there's still panic knifing, but I think that you can pull out your knife and maybe you maybe you run faster maybe your melee is faster I don't know how that works but you can definitely still pull out your knife and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I never really like it's kinda of frustrating to be panic knifed but you gotta you know be real here we all use the panic knife sometimes you know you're reloading you just swing that knife and you get lucky and it doesn't end your streak I mean it kinda of goes both ways so I don't know how I feel about panic knifing. I've never really had a big problem with it. It's frustrating when your streaks end to it, but you know, it's just one of those things that I don't know if it really needs to be changed. And I know a lot of people get frustrated, like I said, but I don't think it really needs to be changed. I really don't. Um, let's see. What else did we see? We did see the return of a th of a one burst kill gun. I noticed that in one of the multiplayer uh, live streams. That might piss people off. I know the Type 95 does now. But then again, the FAMAS never did back in Modern Warfare 2. I never got any complaints about the FAMAS being OP. And it's just like the Type 95. So maybe people will bitch about it. Maybe people won't. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, the maps, though. The maps were a big thing that I noticed. They, I, I have a feeling I'm going to hate the maps. I don't know about you guys, but it looks like there's so many nooks and crannies that... There's going to be so many different places you got to be looking at once. There's got to be too many different things that you have to notice and take in and focus on. That I'm pretty sure it's going to end up being uh, Camp Central and there's not going to be a whole lot you can do it. What do about it? I mean, <laughs> what I'm glad they did change though was the way that um, Ghost works. I love, absolutely love the leaked info about how Ghost no longer hides you from UAV if you're sitting in one spot. That is possibly the greatest addition to ever happen to any Call of Duty game ever in the history of ever. I'm so happy about that. You guys have no idea. I'm tired of these people prone with an LMG or, you know, something else just sitting in a corner. And they'll go one for one because somebody will know where they are uh, the second they kill somebody. But they're just camping there and there's nothing you can do about it. You can check every single corner. They're probably still going to get the jump on you because they're going to be in stupid corners everywhere. So... Greatest thing that I noticed that they changed. I also like the new the kill streak system where uh, it's kind of like point streak in Modern Warfare 3, but not quite. You know how everything just kind of adds to the points that you need. So like say a UAV is unlocked at 300 points, uh, you can get there with assists, you know, worth 50 or 75 points, um, a kill worth 100, a cap worth 150, and as long as you end up reaching the the 300 point threshold, you get that UAV. And I think that's a really cool idea. I'm glad that they're bringing that into Black Ops. Uh, let's see, what else? I noticed that the guns... Um, I don't know if they were just using one type of gun, but uh, kind of weird sights on them. Kind of weird sights. I don't know that I'm a big fan of that. I noticed that, uh, I think it was the... What's that one sight that you can like see through walls with? I noticed that it kind of like... It kind of acts like a UAV 
and that it, it like scans out every couple seconds, you know? So, I originally thought that it was going to be OP, but if it's just scanning and you can't see people permanently behind walls, I think that's a really good thing to have. A uh, really cool idea. I wouldn't say a good thing to have. Maybe that'll end up pissing me off once the game comes out. So, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of actually excited, which is surprising because Black Ops never really appealed to me. I, I'm... I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, actually. I'm just hoping they don't screw up stuff. I do hope that they bring back specialists, though. That is my favorite part about Modern Warfare 3, without a doubt. So, I didn't see anything about it. I don't know if they're gonna have it. And I really, really hope they do. But, uh, I guess that's the end of the gameplay, guys. So, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you later. I went 29-0, and and I was the assist king here. I had 8 assists. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video. And I'll appreciate it. Catch you later.